Conservatism can get you to some very illogical and unreliable and frankly lacking in transparency answers if you just applied conservatism itself. But if you were to also take conservatism to the ultimate, you would end up saying don't recognize any revenue until you have the cash in hand. But on the other hand, recognize all expenses or expenditures as soon as you think about incurring them or you signed a purchase order for it, or you signed a contract for it, even though you don't have a legal liability for it at that point. By being very conservative, you reduce the reliability, you introduce an element of inconsistency, but probably most importantly, you impede transparency. And all of those are things that uh, run contrary to the fundamentals of financial reporting and uh, our other existing conceptual framework. There's a popular misconception that says that conservatism is GAAP. And in fact, conservatism may be reflected in some accounting pronouncements that are generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, but conservatism is not the driver, the sole determinant of generally accepted accounting principles. So the key is what's most reliable, what's most consistent that gives you compliance with generally accepted accounting principles, not what's most conservative.